Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Trust, and on today's video, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to live stream to your Facebook page making use of the custom RTMP option. Now, this is actually going to be done making use of the Prism Live application. If you do not have Prism Live app, go ahead and download it. This is Prism Live, and you can actually see the logo. Just go ahead and download it from Play Store. If you have it, let's go ahead and open the application and let's continue from this video this is going to take some time depending on your device it's going to load up now if this finish loading up we can start going live making use of this application right here so now the next thing we actually need to do is to go over to our facebook now um, this is actually where you start live streaming making use of prism live um, settings um, custom rtm custom RTMP settings but then I'm going to explain something very quick how we actually get here now let me click on a new tab to open it so before you open your uh, browser make sure you actually set it to browse on desktop view it's not displaying right here but after I type in the URL it will start displaying so I'm going to go ahead and enter in facebook.com and then wait for it to load up this is going to uh, load up the desktop version of facebook.com now, if you do not notice, let me go ahead and show you. Click on the three dotted icon on the top area, and you will notice where it says desktop site. You can notice the check icon is enabled. Make sure you have the check icon enabled to desktop site so that it's going to display the desktop version of your site. Now, the next thing you need to do is to click on live video. Now, if you click on live video, it's going to bring you to this area. You can see there are two options, create a live event or go live. So click on go live. This is going to load up to um, the Facebook Studio for live streaming. Now, if this loads up, the next thing you actually see on default, it actually load up your camera and it's going to display your camera. And the preview is going to be, sorry guys, I navigated. The preview is going to be displaying just like this one right here. So you can see the preview. Now, this is actually not what we want. We actually want to record making use of a tool or a, an application. So we are going to click on streaming software. Now click on streaming software and it's going to display the information you need. And click on advanced settings to display even more information. Right here we have our streaming key and right here we have our server URL, which is very important. So next thing we need to do is to go to the Prism app and then click on Go Live. Now automatically when you click on Go Live, it's supposed to show you different platform that you can go live with. But unfortunately it displayed this one. It's displaying this one because this is the previous live option I've went to. So all you need to do to choose a different live streaming option is to click on my channels. Now, if you click on my channel, it's going to display you even more information. I'm going to go ahead and disable this. Now, I've disabled this too, right? Now, to add a new channel, click on add on the plus icon on the add platform. So I'm going to choose Facebook right now. And you can notice right there, it says um, Facebook custom RTMP. That is exactly what we are looking for. So I'm going to click on that and once it loads up, you can see that we need um, the server URL which is already here, but the streaming key is also here but it's not displaying. And you can also give it a name. This name doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and copy the URL. So um, copy the server URL, which is the first thing, come right back and then um, highlight everything. Highlight, delete, paste. I've pasted that. I'm going to go ahead and copy the streaming key, which is right here, and then click and hold, paste. And then the next thing, I can give it any name. Just go ahead and give it any name. So I can call this, um, it's already Facebook, right? I'm going to say Trust Tech. Um, the spelling. All right, if you're done, click on Save. And this is going to load up and save save it for you. You can notice right there, Trust Tech and other ones are here, but the active one is Trust Tech. You can always toggle them to change different one that you want. And also you can live stream on all these three platforms at the same time. So if you are okay, just click on it to confirm that this information is accurate. Then if you are okay, click on this S icon on the bottom to close that. Now you can notice Facebook Trust Tech is already active. Now um, you can now start live streaming and do even more setting on facebook but then guys if you actually want to change your camera you can always click on this area and let's zoom out this is actually a zoom in option this is a zoom out option you can notice play around it and you see 
to the one that actually perfectly fits to what you want you can also click on rear gear to actually use the back camera this is the back camera you can see how it displays so um, you can also click on this area to go ahead and toggle even more information that you want or do other settings that you want i'm actually okay with the default settings so i'm going to go ahead and click on go live now you can notice it says once you go live you have checked but then guys um something very quick if i am going live on on facebook right if i'm going live with prism i will not be able to go live while i am recording the screen so I, I, i'm going to have to stop recording my screen and i'm going to use an external camera which is my mobile phone camera to record the screen then i'm going to end um, the uh recording on this phone so i'm going to do that very quick all right guys so um i am going to go ahead and click on ok and you can notice it says starting in portrait mode it's going to count down to one two three and then you notice right here is life um i don't know why the camera blows out let me take it to a different location okay it's still not showing properly okay yes it's showing right now you can see that is life now um the next thing you need to do is to go to um the facebook that we actually open and your live stream should be reviewing right here is you can notice right there is already reviewed so if i click on play it's going to start playing and then you can also notice the check icon right here is confirmed but you cannot see that let me go ahead and zoom in let me go ahead and zoom in so that you would be able to see that that area you notice right there the device is already connected now the next thing you need to do is to complete um the post detail which is actually the live stream detail so you click on that it's going to load or it's going to load on the left hand area which is actually right here so now this is the detail you need to enter the detail of the video so you notice where it says um what's your live video about click on that and it's going to load up in the middle it has actually loaded up right here so i'm going to go ahead and zoom out now this is the information put in a title and a description so i'm going to add the title of the video i'm going to say um just new test right um right just like this you can add a description of the video if you want to and then add just some random stuff and then click on save and you can notice right now that is checked i think probably the reason why is not checked was because i did not add the description of the video now you can notice right there that um we have completed the post detail so just click on live now the issue you are going to have right now is whenever you click on live it doesn't actually live stream but this is actually the button we need to actually go live so normally when you click on this button it should start live streaming but it doesn't actually do that so what i usually do you notice this button right here this button um i want to position very well so you'll be able to see it you notice this collapse option this collapse option right here click on that now if you click on that it has been collapsed and now you can see this button right here this big button click on that the blue button now if you click on that you notice it says live which means we are now live and then um the live stream has started so anybody watching right now is going to be seeing the live stream going on so let me collapse this again so that you guys will see even more detail and then zoom out you can see right now that we are live even though you refresh it you can always load up and you can see that we are live if you want to confirm this just go to the page but i'm very sure we are live so just go to the page and you will see the video is actually live you notice the video is live so anybody can be watching this video right now it means that we are live and we are actually live streaming right from prism lab application so whenever we want we can always end the video right here and then come to our facebook page also to end the stream so this video has ended and then um this one is also going to be disconnected but then it doesn't disconnect immediately so it going to disconnect anyway so if you go to the um facebook studio you will notice the video you notice right now that video has already stopped and guys this video is a success so we have actually successfully live stream to our facebook making use of the custom rmpt so if you have any question regarding this please let me know on the comment section and if you have any issue with um the style of this video also let me know on the comment section and hopefully i am going to be able to remake this video or adjust to it
So thank you guys for watching. I will see you on my next video. Stay safe and peace.